Hello, my name is uh, Kent Lennartson. I'm a research manager here at Quasar. And uh, today we're going to look a little bit into our Cantegrity function. And in this presentation, we will check uh, how uh, the CAN bus or the receiving from the CAN controller is affecting by using different sampling points. And to do that, uh, we use a special hardware, uh, which includes the Cantegrity. And uh, we have three interfaces here because we have two here just to produce uh, some CAN frames uh, so that we can uh, do the analyzing on. So uh, now we jump into the, the presentation on, on, of the software. So uh, let's see what we can do with Cantegrity. Uh, here I have two applications of CanKing running. Uh, they are sending uh, CAN frames, can FT frames here, both of them with two different CAN IDs. So we get two different frames on the bus, mm -hmm. roughly 10 frames per second. So then we open Cantegrity to see what we can get out of this. So. Here we see the two Kenking application connected to two different interfaces. And here we have our own. So we connect this to Quasar Signal Integrity Sampling System module here. And we connect that to the frame view. And then we can actually go in here, open it up. We start it. And here comes the frames. And we can now go in here. Uh, and, and look at all the bits here you have in the frame. You, have the, you see the CAN ID, you see the DLC, you see the data, stuff, counter, CRC, and the end of frame here. So in this view, uh, if you uh, zoom in here to the start of frame bit, uh, you see the start of frame bit here. So we have the sync segment here uh, and the sample point, and here comes the next bit with the sync segment and so on and so forth. So that's, and if you go further down here uh, to uh, one of the bits, you see it's 100% identical from the first bit. So the phase of uh, shift here from the, the, the sender is zero. So we, we receive all the bits 100% uh, per, perfect. And the only th time we have a problem is arbitration because the ACK bit here doesn't come synchronized to the sender because they come from the second module with the delay. So what you see here is a 125 nanosecond delay uh, because uh, the ACK no AC node is delayed by the transceiver delay in his CAN driver, so which is roughly 125 nanosecond. But it doesn't matter because there's a lot of space here. Uh, so the sampling is 100 per and also the sampling of ACK delimit will work, work perfectly okay. And the other device, you see the same thing. You can go to the starter frame. You see the starter frame bit. Uh, and if you go all the way back to the end, the same thing happened here. Yeah. The act delay will uh, the act will be delayed here uh, due to the transceiver delay in the other module as well. So everything is perfect. Uh, which you should expect it because the cross can interfaces have a phase uh, oscillator tolerance uh, with, with a few ppm, so the phase uh, uh, offset is very, very small. So let's see what's happening here if uh, we change the sample point and move the sample point from 75% to as far away as we can go, 98.75%. So you see here, you have only the sample point is only one time quantum from the end. Go into the frame and restart. Go to, go to the beginning of, of the frame. You see the starter frame. See it here? here? You see the starter frame, and here you see the sample point here. Perfectly correct in, in the bit. And if you go further down here, down to the CRC. You see that the, the, the sample point here is actually perfect. Should go in and set it. So we don't confuse this here. But the same here. Uh, move it to the. Here you see the sample point, no problem here. And not in the next bit either. Uh, and not even in ACBIT, because if the sample point had been closed here, you would have problem. But now the sample point in the far end, and that far end is still in ACBIT, so there is no problem. So 
nine percent uh, sample point of 99 percent is not a problem so let's move to the other extreme uh, we change the time quanta here from 40 to 20 uh, otherwise we cannot get the, the low and put the sample point at 15 percent now we see here we have the sample point here uh, almost uh, at the start of the bit restart and you see here now we see a problem here uh, so the, some of, of the frames uh, you, we, we actually have error frames here and if you if you zoom out here you will see that the error frames actually is in in an end here of the acbit so let's see what's happening so we move all the way up to to the start of the frame bit uh, you see here it, this the sample point is here and uh, even if we go down here uh, the line uh, we see here that the, the sample point is w is within every bit but we will have a problem for some reason at, at ACK bit so as you see here uh, the sample point actually sampling not the ACK bit but the CRC delimiter so you get an, an um, ACK bit sample as uh, recessive which means there is uh, a no ACK so you have an ACK error and that would cause uh, an error, error frame here uh, following uh, this uh, ACK error here so uh, if you go to 15 percent 90 percent some rate of, of the messages actually works without problem but sometimes you 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 will get uh, uh, and uh, the wrong sampling here but if you look at another bit here uh, you see that the sampling is, is perfect okay so it depends on the jitter of, of the sync segment so all those frame here has a, a correct uh, sampling of the act bit but here you you in the arrow frames you have a wrong sampling of, of, of the act bit So from this session, we learn that uh, uh, if you run CanFT uh, and, and you have this short bus and good oscillators, the sample point can be more or less uh, anywhere from 15% up to 99%. And the only thing that will force you to, to change the sample point further into the bit is more delay on the cable, longer cables, or uh, which force your sample point to the rear or if you have bad oscillator which force your uh, uh, sample point to be more centered so in this presentation we have uh, looked into uh, how the receiving cam controller uh, behave when you change the, the sampling point and uh, as you learn here uh, there's a wide range of sample points for classical can and can ft there are other videos that describe what's happening with the sample point when you switch uh, the higher bitrate in the CanFT.